What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to another chilled out tutorial where we're going to be painting some rusted metal. Here I've got it on this Soul Blight's Grave Lord uh, Dead Walker Zombie, but you could use this on some orcs and goblins, some Skaven, any army that employs just some old, rotted, corroded metal that looks like uh, you're probably gonna have to go to the doctor if you get hit with it. This is the tutorial for you. Very simple recipe and uh, anybody can do it. It's super easy and I take you step by step. You see exactly how I paint it up and uh, there's no uh, cuts or anything. The only cut is actually to let the paint dry because the first coat of Mornfang Brown uh, does take a while to dry. But other than that, you get to see every step of the way how I paint on this rusted metal. And like I said, I'm using it on this Soul Blight's Grave Lord Dead Walker Zombie. There is so much variety and creativity in how you can build these. The variety of heads and bodies is just amazing. So I uh, highly recommend getting a box if you have a Soul Blight Grave Lord's army. Or if you just want to build up and paint up some cool zombies, uh, they are also a bunch of fun to paint. So uh, you can follow the affiliate link I've got down below in the description. It'll give you $9 off the retail price of $60. You can purchase it on Amazon for $51 US. And um, it's an affiliate link, like I said, so it would be supporting the studio. And I do thank you for that. Check it out. It's a great little savings. Okay, guys. Enjoy the rusted metal to paint dirty grimy rusty rust on metal uh, you only need three paints Mornfang Brown Agrax Earthshade and Wild Rider Red so the first thing we're gonna do is paint the metal area with Morn Fang Brown. This is one of my favorite recipes for any metal on my Soul Blight Grave Lords, but particularly any metal from the zombies. Zombies tend to come from the peasants or the lower class. Their uh, equipment is already not going to be that great. So when you factor in that now they are um, hundreds of years old or they've been lying in the sun, some of this equipment, and they just go and pick it up. It's all corroded and messed up. The um, equivalent would be something that you see in what up, players? Uh, I'm taking a little break here, letting that Mornfang Brown dry. Even though Charlie here has had his uh, painted for a little bit now. I wanted to let you guys know, guys and gals, know that Warboss Taste Studio is going to go through a bit of a change. And uh, it's nothing too major. I just want to be posting more content more consistently. The lady boss has told me that uh, if I want to succeed as a YouTuber, I'm gonna need to up my game and that includes getting new lights getting cleaned up getting uh, a fresh new glow up for my station and uh, working more on producing consistent content high quality tutorials that you guys want to see so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're working on what you would like to see me make a video for my tutorials are gonna start being longer again I don't know if you've noticed but the last tutorial I did for the Commissar I believe was almost an hour long that is an hour of just hanging out painting along with me working on your projects while I work in real time and uh, I really enjoy those I used to love putting those up that was basically what I did on my channel and I love having a very chilled out vibe to my videos um, there's so much on YouTube that you can go to and be inundated with quick edits and quick cuts and big noises and loud sound effects and uh, I wanted my channel to always be a haven where you could come and just relax unwind and paint some minis so yeah like I said leave me a comment down below let me know what you would like me to post material for post content for I know the old world is coming out I've got uh, some Bretonian Knights of the Realm 
and uh, men at arms and bowmen models I'd like to do. I've got a bunch of empire stuff. I'd like to redo my tour of the empire where I go through all of the city states. Uh, I know that Games Workshop has only been focusing on or putting out articles for the, the Bretonians and uh, showing off a little bit of Tomb King stuff, but I, I do want to make more content for you guys and I want it to be of high value for you. So while I'm doing the summer painting challenge, while I'm doing the Heroes of Hobbyton for my patrons on Patreon, I want to be providing good uh, quality content for the rest of you guys on YouTube maybe uh, convince you to hit that subscribe button if you're not already, maybe even convince you to become a patron of Warboss Taste Studios, wouldn't that be great? We'll add some more names to uh, the end the graphic with a little wizard just making fireballs by the fireplace. All right guys, uh, back to the tutorial. Burns! Now that our rusted metal has had some time to dry, we're gonna go on with Fire Dragon Bright. Now imagine that Mornfang Brown on the metal is the years and years of dirt and rust that's been just gathering and sitting on that rusted metal. So what this is gonna be are the bright patches of orange that you see on rusted metal. It's gonna give a pop of color. I use the dry brush, I'm not really gonna be precious with this. You want a very random look so you don't have to be very careful at all. You just got get that orange paint all over like that. And because you're using a dry brush, which means that I'm wiping most of the paint off of the brush before I even apply it, it should be dry very quickly. So that will allow us to move right on to the next step, which is adding the Agrax Earthshade wash. So you can see I already added the Agrax Earthshade to the rest of this figure. So now we're bringing the rusted metal up to the same level as the rest of my Deadwalker zombie. It's not so bad when you're just doing one figure, but when you're working on a whole horde of these guys, you wanna be able to work fast, get a good looking effect in a short amount of time as possible. Okay, you see how easy it is to really get too much on your model? The Agrax Earthshade is really there just to blend that orange in. So if you're seeing mostly that dark brown oily color, then wipe it away. We're just looking to tie the colors in. And there you have it. There's your rusted metal, guys. The uh, only thing I would add if you want for a, an extra level of tastiness is after you've let your model dry for about a minute or two, you're gonna go in with some Rune Fang Steel. This is an extra step. You don't have to do this one. Uh, this is really just for some extra, extra flavor on your miniature. It's gonna give a pop of color and you wanna use a small brush for this. We're going to very, very randomly and uh, just not at all stick to any kind of pattern. We're going to gently paint some s dots and lines onto the ed hard edges. These are to show scratches and where the rust has been worn away. And what it's going to do is when the Rune Fang Steel catches the light, it's going to give your model just a little bit of dirty bling. He's a zombie. All right. There it is. How to paint rusted metal. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button before you go. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos on the Deadwalker zombies, I'm going to be doing a series of zombie skin tutorials, everything that covers the uh, new Games Workshop aesthetic of looking just a little bit cartoony, unrealistic. And uh, I hope you stay along for that. And uh, don't forget to take a look at the discord the link is down below in the description you can support warboss taste studios by becoming a patron like mr sprinkle mr secondaries picks dicey guy and play it painted thanks again for watching the video we'll see you in the next one laters